the content crap shoot YouTube. Two men are testing tastes. John Frankie and a skeleton are in a Mac consuming race. Each Halloween, Miss Noodle reappears with Mac so bad it brings them both to tears. She's followed around by a little girl with her Mac zombies and play Frankies and men are bottom girls. You got I'll send them cheesy box Macs, the worst I can find. La, la, la. They'll have to try and The max they recommend That they can venture, sing, and make references With the help of their Box Mac friends Box Mac Roll Call Nina Vegan EJ Whiskey This thing Ingredient all choice If you're wondering how it's healthy to eat Nothing but random max They eat other things outside the show You should really just read Blacks, for Max to read Science Theater 3000. Hey everybody, I'm John. Welcome to the Noodle of Love. Craftkeeper, what are you doing? They say a watch pot never boils. They said it couldn't be done. Oh, Craftkeeper, it's just an expression. It's not really meant to be taken literally. Right. That it couldn't be done. Oh God. Surprise, boys, it's me. We have a medley of Mac Madness in store for you today. From cheesy recipes to noodly news stories, you'll be positively packed. Sounds cruel and unusual, Miss Noodle. You boys should be reminded that we are not teleconferencing right now. This is actually all pre-recorded, but meant to feel like a conversation as I anticipate everything you say. Is that a fact? It is a fact, Frankie. <gasps> say something more complex. Miss Noodle, make me a bacon mac. You make the macs around here, Junt, not I. <gasps> That's a generic response. That could be applied to a lot of things. Perhaps, Frankie. But I know Junt was asking about a bacon mac. <gasps> well, that's the entire key, Craft Keeper, is to shred the chicken so it absorbs more cheese. This place sucks. No, I will not make out with you. Go on with the chlorophyll. Hi, we have a great new invention today. The Smart Planet Mac and Cheese Maker. This invention is so unique because it's all in one. Is it really that unique? To clean. You boil the water, make the pasta, strain the pasta. I thought shoulder pads were out. And melt the cheese together. It's just excellent. It's so easy to use. Why would you have this device so in a kitchen that looks like this? Store, <laughs> bought mac and cheese and make it with the She's also going for cheese, Annie's and. Or you could choose any pasta you'd like. Is that ro like, like Ronzio? and use fresh shredded cheese. Wait a minute, why not just use a pot? To begin You're an idiot, John. Turning the unit on, there's boil, low, and simmer. Turn it to boil, and this boils the water much faster. But there's no water in it. Stove top. So let's open the top, oh. pour the water in. Oh God, yes. That's not enough boil. water to boil macaroni and cheese. What does this woman think she's doing? Boil. Why didn't she use a clock wipe to transition time? You can make. That's a very good question. Instead, she just sort of crossfaded into a ghostly figure of herself. It's very scary. The American shredded cheese with their mac and cheese. Now, why isn't she just but going for a normal box mac? I love the mac and cheese when I make it I don't know. I thought that was style. the whole point of the device. I make it with Gouda cheese and Munster cheese. She makes a mac. She made some monster mac. That you could try. So she's, what she's saying delicious. is there's a lot of cheese. Okay, so the there's water's many types now. of cheese. Now I'm going to add my pasta. Monster cheese, gouda cheese, cheese goat cheese, ingredient hole. And Don't touch the ingredient hole. Times and let the pasta cook. I don't think that water's boiling, woman. Now that the pasta is cooked, we're going to strain it. 
What's so great about this invention is that it's all in one. The strainer's in one. Don't as say well, anything so about we have our breasts. No extra dishes to clean. <laughs> Let's strain the pasta. Let's drain. They really could have used a little bit of a now filter. Now we're going to add our cheese. You could use the. You're talking about the windows. Cheese, yeah. but I prefer to use natural. Look at cheese, that reflective marble. Cheese. So you just open it up and add your cheese. Very delicately, as little very or slowly. As much as you thought. That's not going to be enough cheese for anybody. Why are they the trying to make a roux in this thing? Is that, stir. am I mistaken? And this so is going to be gross. All she has in there is it. pasta and a little bit of cheese. <laughs> now we have perfect mac and cheese. It looks fabulous. That is not like a studio kid. That's not like the kid you natural ingredients. just stop shoving it in his mouth. I think it's a real it's awful kid. Mm -hmm. And the best uh -huh. part is, is Look, I have he's no gonna spit it out. <laughs> he really it's doesn't like it. You can see it on his face. I'm so happy. I'm so happy, Johnny. She did not make that with that. Hi, everybody. What the? All oh, right, Mickey, are you gonna make a pie? Oh, of course. This has millions oh, of subscribers. Oh, it's gonna be nice and cheap. It's corporate like mascots make gross food. Yeah. Mice love cheese. Why is he? Oh my God. It looks good. This mouse is. This mouse is insane. This mouse shouldn't be in this house. That mouse shouldn't be in that house without us, pals. What? So it is intentionally okay, gross. Mickey. The person off camera is saying, don't do it, You've Mickey. Macaroni and cheese and cheese with? They're making a mac and cheese we're pie. We're making pie. We're not making- like, This is, this is an abomination. For like a tailgate party. Oh, Th this is, this is, this is a sin. A sin against macaroni and cheese. Calm down. I just want to know why cheese. we haven't dressed up like licensed characters and done this. Is this, is this in, in compliance with local copyright laws? Oh, I really doubt it, but how could YouTube filter for it? No, it doesn't You're right. I think you're really gonna like What? What are they eating now? That's the finished product. But that's clearly a lemon meringue pie. Um, yeah, I don't like it. No. No. Sorry. Sorry, Mickey. Uh, oh, well. Hey, how come if they're gonna put a grown woman in a Mickey Mouse costume, yeah. why wasn't it Minnie Mouse? I'm not sure. Oh, it's Ellie Awesome. Back with another taste test here with my little sister who is taller than me. Is she from New Zealand? Uh, Australia. Oh dear. They're similar. The continent of Australia. It's Velveeta shells and cheese. We're both Australian, which will be better. <laughs> They're both Australian, not just one. Well, yes. I don't think you can microwave that one, though. Normally, your sibling is from your own nation. Maybe that means it's more legit. In, in Australia, do they always have to microwave macaroni and cheese? Well, we've had it before, and we boiled it. I feel like this is a weird American. I feel like I'm speaking like Sarah Palin right now. Three quarter cups of hot water and stir. <laughs> It'll be worth the effort. Their American it's accent is C plus. Like epic or amazing, but it's nice. It'll be done by Holy man. It'll take three minutes. Just those camera effects. Dog does up the production value. <laughs> <laughs> that is the size of, of a tangerine. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. House? The size of a small child. These girls are too excited about living, but this is the way that girls are, isn't it? <laughs> Patriarchy. They also have, um, I don't know if they have millions of subscribers. And it kind of smells like But they outrank us by thousands. Oh, it reminds me of rye bread. <laughs> Let's go on to the American one. There's no flavor. There is flavor. It flavor. Me of the cheese paste. There's no flavor. Yeah. Craft cheese paste. It's yeah. like craft cheese paste. Craft cheese paste. AKA cream cheese. <laughs> Really American. <laughs> From going. What exactly is an American taste? Open your mouth and I'll show you. It reminds me of America, this flavor. Have you ever been to America? Stop eating it. I actually don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything to say, really? Super not funny, guys. I, this is a scene from Clockwork Orange, if I remember correctly. Uh huh. It has beautiful fidelity. Like, um, nice sustain. Yes. Ooh, I like that they went up instead of down. That's very nice. Fart, belch, and vomit. Vomit with two M's for some reason. They actually misspelled vomit on the packaging. My stomach, you really cannot go wrong when the two main ingredients of a dish are macaroni and cheese. You're right. Have you ever seen a news segment about mac and cheese kick off so seriously? Oh my God, he is so serious. Could Matt Cooker live up to its name? Carly O'Keefe has this doesn't work test. That's right, Ooh. John. This news broadcast 
tested the That kid is way better than the other one we saw earlier. Matt Cooker claims to be the fastest, easiest way to make mac and cheese right in your microwave. Well, I think it is. So what's different from this bowl in this bowl? Nothing. They had the same question. It's just the right amount of water for even heat distribution. Hmm. Now, do you see that? Rapid Mac does advertise that the, the there's technology in the bowl. Hmm. Little plastic bowls, they're not cooked hardly at all. So they found an unemployed mom to be on the segment. <laughs> It does say here, heating times may vary. We're gonna give the uh, Rapid Mac another try, another minute to see if it can do what it says. Yeah, that's what we had to do too. Yeah. With that extra minute. Maria adds the other ingredients and voila. It's not bad. But how does- I feel kind of a kinship to her. I do too. I feel like we're, we're different souls. Oh, I like that in microwave shot. That's my kind of shot. Yeah, Tarantino. You get that shot. But Max, five and a half minute time was up. The noodles still weren't ready. There's still quite a bit of water. This, this test is thoroughly flawed. So I kind of think maybe the, the other bowl actually did work a little bit better. The See that? The bowl took a full minute longer than the Rapid Mac cooker. Hard hitting news. Did get the job done. Or it worked. So she it worked. Stars on this it twerked. Look who it is, our old friend. Ah, this kid. The jalapeno mac and cheese Luke drunk drunkard. Rude. When I watched the video a few days later, I, I, I couldn't even believe it. Is this like a retrospective with him? Yes. Watching it, thinking, oh my God, like. Look at the acting. What, what the hell's wrong with me? Like. Like, if this isn't what I'm all By the way, he was arrested later uh, for some other violent crime after this event. Is that so? Yeah. Hold on, boy. Get your hands behind your back. As for the mac and cheese... Absolutely It's gonna go to other people. Was he high or drunk? Drunk, yes. Drunk. All those who want to send donations of mac and cheese to me, um, please just send it to your local food pack. Send it to Box Mac. Th this kid has Charlie Wood chops. <laughs> no one will get that joke. Authorities say a fight over missing mac and cheese. Oh dear. To a stabbing and an arrest. Authorities say mac and cheese stabbing, which implies that someone tried to stab with a wet noodle. Uh, that wouldn't work very well. I've tried it before. Like a cartoon sword. Yeah. That set off a fight, and then Randy allegedly stabbed his brother. Right now, he remains in the belief. Oh my God! The noodle. The noodle would take most of the damage. Uh, we here today. Who cooked the macaroni for Rocky and Carlo? They loosen up and real good. Well, the man can't talk, but maybe he can cook a macaroni. <laughs> Making a mac and cheese, a Rocky and Carlo, a mac and cheese with an egg. I cannot place his accent for a million dollars. It's Italian. Is it? Mm. She's a professional at making. She make it a bass. That's a woman. It's up there, all over the pain, you know, all over the macaroni. Mamma mia! Man, everything, everything, everything I do. It does look delicious, I even though it's it. spaghetti. No, Ew, spaghetti! That's not a macaroni and cheese. That's spaghetti and cheese. Macaroni cheese or rocky and call. Later today. I think I finally built. Our Franken Mac. Junt thinks he has the best Mac yet, his own creation. Could I make a better macaroni and cheese than the ones that they put out today? And it's scary how good it is. Don't miss the Box Mac Spooktacular later today! Right here on Red Cow Kids. <laughs> Frankie, we're here in the pumpkin patch and we're gonna cook a special pumpkin homestyle Mac today on Box Mac. It's the fall season. Yeah. And I thought it would be nice mm -hmm. if we cooked ourselves a nice fall-based pumpkin mac. Didn't we take a trip up to a certain restaurant in Lincoln, Oh, Island yes, I forgot. And had a dismal, abysmal pumpkin mac. I was like, well, pumpkin cheese, maybe? It was disgusting. We're gonna try to do better today. So I have decided to get in costume for the occasion. I, I know, and I, I quite like this. This this costume has some special meaning. The second episode of Junt's Cart Ever. We were at Savers yep. 
and we were looking at all the Halloween clearance, and you yep. came across one of these idiotic chicken costumes. That's right. And you said, They do have some cheaper costumes, like this delicious chicken costume. I'm kind of hungry, so I said delicious <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> this is a little bit of a twist on our normal homestyle mac, right? We're using mascarpone cheese. This is an Italian light cheese. It's like a cream cheese, but it has a little more of a sour flavor to it. Hopefully smooth things out and add a little bit of richness. Kind of like a sour cream, but a little toned down. How are you gonna make sure that pumpkin goes well with a mac and cheese? By using a lot of cheese, basically. I think it's pronounced mascarpone. Is it? Mascarpone? Mascarpone. Like you're, have a, you're in Massachusetts, you have a car, and you have to pone. Mascarpone. We're gonna put some nutmeg in. Yeah. That's gonna go really nice with the pumpkin. And we got some paprika too, and that's also gonna supplement the pumpkin flavor and kind of bring it all together. The pumpkin almost asks for spices, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. But this isn't a pumpkin spice mac. No. It has spices and it has pumpkin, but it's not a pumpkin spice mac. What makes something pumpkin spice versus pumpkin? I mean, that's, I'm struggling with that, Frankie, because I think is the fact that you have a pumpkin flavor at all, right? Right. Then you add cinnamon and nutmeg. No cinnamon in this today. I think that's, that's out of the is. question. It's cinnamon and nutmeg, yeah. isn't it? You notice that for coffee flavors, the iced coffee is pumpkin, yeah. the hot is pumpkin spice. That's right. Well, cinnamon as a cold flavor, I don't think works as well. I think you want your cinnamon and nutmeg to be kind of a hot, that's a very cider flavor. Yeah, right? there's a cartoon that EJ made years ago about pumpkin spice lattes coming back. I remember that, I love that cartoon. I had a voice in it. EJ, I have returned. Pumpkin spice latte, I missed you. He asked me to do it like Wack of Warner, which is already asking me to do it kind of like Ringo Starr. Yeah, it's all in the same basic quadrant. Take hold of my hand. <laughs> we have the, the, the craft keeper and his new wife-to-be with her sugar skull veil. This recipe is of my own creation based on a couple other ones that I saw some things I liked from. Did you look around the internet and not see anything you quite wanted to do? No, so there was a pumpkin lobster macaroni and cheese that I thought was just, I wasn't gonna put lobster. One too many thing. things? Yes. And it had peas in it too, which is like, what are you doing? You're out of control, get out of here. Out of your gourd. Yeah. These must be gourd dogs. There were some other pumpkin macs, but they were really, they didn't have roux in them. And we're gonna do a roux today because I'm a big fan of roux. And we're gonna use a medium shell pasta today from the Barilla Corporation. Kerrygold butter here. We've got three tablespoons of it. Medium heat, and the idea is just to melt this butter down. Now I'd like to draw your attention while that butter's melting to this can of pumpkin. Doesn't this look like it's out of the 70s? It looks old. This branding is exactly the branding I remember as a child. My mother always used one pie pumpkin. Meaning there's not been a rebranding effort at this particular. No. And this is one of the only products I know of that still has that branding on it and still got the same pumpkin pie recipe on the back. It has added a gluten-free thing and the only ingredient is prepared pumpkin. Can you imagine if them trying to dig out the source design for that <laughs> so they can add the gluten thing? They had thing? to vectorize it and yeah. you know do all that stuff. It probably costs a lot of money. Yeah more than the rebranding of Rhode Island. Yeah. Rhode Island, the state of Rhode Island, spent ungodly amounts of money uh, on a rebranding effort. Yep. And all, all they ultimately produced was a sort of little, little, little like come to Rhode Island video. Yeah. And it included video clips from Iceland. Really? Yeah. But that's not Rhode Island. Rebrandings are one of those interesting things, right? Where you always figure that there's gotta be some talented person that will do it for low cost. Yeah. You always decide to, to yeah. pay somebody a million. We'll sure. rebrand you for a mil. Can you imagine the amount of, <laughs> MST3K episodes we could produce on a million dollars. Manservant Matt put an awful lot of work into- a tremendous amount. Into the and set. it looked really awesome. It looks, and you've seen it by now. Did. There's so much stuff that was created for this episode, it's almost tempting to just like keep making Mystery Science Theater knockoffs. <laughs> But I don't think we'll do it. I don't think we can. The difference between homage and ripoff yeah, is close. two episodes. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I have a medium shallot here that I've uh, kind of chopped up a lot and I'm gonna add that into the butter. It's a big decision to get in the chicken costume. EJ, tell me what the doctor tells you when you're you know you're looking for advice. They're yeah. like, what's important is what you want to do. That's right. <laughs> that's exactly, that's kind of exactly what EJ did. <laughs> Even, he even offered to you after you were dressed in the chicken costume to, you know, if you want to get out of it. Zach was the only one with the balls to be like, listen, I say go full chicken. That smells good, John. Yeah, it's only gonna smell better as time goes on, I hope. But will Frankie. it be ruined by pumpkin? So I've got my onion going here. It just needs to saute a little bit more before we're kind of ready to bring in the flour. Making pumpkin mac. Making mac, making pumpkin mac. Medium shells, have we ever done medium shells in a home style? Medium shell B-roll, there's not much of that. You got your medium shells, you got your small shells, you got your mini shells, and then you got your jumbo shells? Yeah, jumbo shells. There's, oh, there are large shells too. We don't talk about them very often. Do you have confidence in this, Mac? Or is it just- I'm you, acting like I do. I have confidence in pumpkin. I have right. confidence in cheese. I have confidence that Halloween will be tasty. Frankie, do you clean as you go when you cook? You don't cook. I clean as I go in most things in life. Yeah, I don't like coming back to the kitchen after you enjoyed a nice meal and there's a disaster. 
that. Can the camera identify which pumpkins are fake and which ones are real? Starting on the left, obviously fake. Yeah. But what else? Is it obvious? You tell us in the f***ing comments. Yeah, comment, it helps <laughs> us or something. I had chickens when I was a kid. I did too, I didn't know you had chickens when you were a kid. I was scared of them, we didn't really go in the yard. Uh, you didn't have to take care of them? That wasn't like one of your childly duties? Not really. Occasionally I had to lock up the coop and that was about it. Did they lay eggs? Were they egg predators? Yeah, 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 we had a lot of eggs. Yeah. Serious amounts of eggs and they were awesome. Yeah. Farm fresh eggs. I'm gonna add uh, to this 12 ounces of cream slowly now. This is the basis for our sauce. We're just gonna give that a minute to cook and thicken. We went to Spirit Halloween last year. Yep. Um, I went again this year. They're much more into the in-store experience now. Really? Like I'd say like it's almost half haunted house. Is that so? Well, yeah. that's kind of the way you want to go, right? Yeah. Because then you're going to draw people in just for the experience and then they're going to buy something. Remember when we were kids and they didn't really have specialty Halloween shops? No. Um, but what they did have was Spencer's Gifts. Yep. And there was one wall during Halloween time. It would go full Halloween. But they had masks. Yep. And they had the best masks. Now they have a lot of crap masks. I went to Party City where it's just stuffed to the brim with masks. Oh, I know. Um, but Spencer's had some, like, and you'd pay like 50 bucks for a mask. Can I just ask you to keep stirring this? You wear a disguise, you look like human guys, but you're not a man, you're a chicken boo. It's from uh, Animaniacs. The premise of every Chicken Boo cartoon is that this guy comes in and impresses everyone with his personality and swagger, even though he was a more or less mute chicken. Yes. And then at the, at the very end of the episode, you know, like his hat would come off and somehow that would reveal it, Yeah, it, and then that would blow everything. And they were pissed. Yes. And he would be legitimately annoyed. But I'll be a suede back marsupial. He is a chicken. I told you that guy was a chicken. And they, he, they'd run him out of town and they'd sing a song. You're yep. not a man, you're a chicken boo. You wear a disguise to look like human guys, but you're not a man, you're a chicken boo. Animaniacs was filled with good segments. Oh, it certainly was. The kid that ran outside and told you some inane story about his friends. Yes. I'm gonna start adding cheese. Eight ounces of sharp cheddar and four ounces of Kobe Jack. I'm gonna set aside a couple ounces of this for the top, but we're gonna put most of it right into this cheese sauce. If you turn around, you'll see that um, Matt and Zach are sleeping. Matt, because he was up all night making the sets that we used today. Okay, I've got eight ounces of mascarpone cheese. Mascarpone. Would you like to try a little of the cheese so you know what it tastes like? Yes. Yeah. It doesn't have much of a flavor. It's, it's, it's a light cheese. Yeah. It's kind of like a solid cream almost. Okay. Did you see any recipes that included mascarpone? I did. Uh, and I have never used it before. It's actually the lobster pumpkin mac that included that. Don't you just love a good cheese sauce? I do, I love it. Don't you just want to ruin it with breadcrumbs? Oh, we're no breadcrumbs in our recipe today. Ashley, where are you? We need a mac ruined. Where's Ashley's God now? <laughs> Here's where we do it. This is how we do it. Let me just get an idea. It's delicious. It's a good cheese sauce. It's the really mascarpone good. has changed it up. It did, and it was good. Uh, it doesn't have any spices, it doesn't have any salt in it yet. Mostly cheese. Here we go. We're gonna use about 10 ounces of this can. Try to incorporate and stir that in. It's changing the color. <laughs> Is it? What's it doing to it? It's making it orange, my man, for Halloween. Let's start adding in our spices. How did you decide on the amount to put in? Um, I'm just going off my ratios. 12 ounce can, we're putting about eight to nine ounces in. And I'm gonna start adding some spices to that baby. Don't call me baby. I've got a half teaspoon here of garlic powder. Powsers. We're gonna do another, ooh, that's hot. Oops. Careful, don't burn your Do You need them. It's where you get your power. Half teaspoon of paprika. This is my favorite uh, Battlestar Galactica spinoff. A half teaspoon of nutmeg and a half teaspoon of mustard powder. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper in there too. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. All right, I've got my pasta here in our favorite baking dish. I think this is gonna be good. I hope so, I hope it's gonna be very good. The oven has finally reached temp. It sounds a little bit like the Psycho Knife. <laughs> Salt to taste. You think it's a little too thick? No, I don't think so. Okay. The time has come, the walrus said, of pumpkins and the shit. Looks pretty good, John. Yeah. This is the part where you gotta be very careful. You got a lot of noodles there that don't have any cheese on them. We're gonna use some uh, Parmesan. Uh, so I'm putting a little bit of the extra cheese on top here. 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay. So we're just gonna brown the top. Cheese. What's the point of this again? Just for textural juxtaposition? I like browned cheese. We could have just broiled for a minute too. That would have done the same basic idea. Clean natural propane. And propane accessories? Yes. Damn, actually looks pretty good. Okay, our pumpkin mac. Happy Halloween. Nice job, John. Thank you. It's, you know what, it's fantastic. It's mostly cheesy. Yep. And there's a little tiny pumpkin little spice in pumpkin. there. 
and it makes it kind of fun for the fall. Yes. It's really just what we were looking for. It's actually delicious. So give it a try. It'll be on the website. Man knows how to make a homemade Mac. Thank you. I was a little concerned before we baked it. After we baked it, it's become really incorporated, really nicely mixed. It is. I mean, it's mostly just a mac and cheese. Yes. But there's just that hint. Hint, a little hint of pumpkin. And I'm really surprised because quite a bit of pumpkin puree ended up in it. Yep. But it's exactly the amount of pumpkin I'd want. If I ordered this at a restaurant, I'd be psyched about it and I'd come back to that restaurant. That's wonderful. That's exactly what I like to hear. We'll be right back on Box Mac. Oh my God, a top-down cooking video with tweet music. Macaroni. Wait a minute, who puts their dry macaroni in cute little bowls? These are jack-o'-lantern macaroni cups. Oh my God, so cute. All right, so they cooked some pasta so far. All right, butter's good. I like butter. Mm, flour. All right, make a little roux. Milk. Yeah, milk's good. Again, the cheese in the little blue bowl. Who's gonna stage their cheese in a little blue bowl? Oh, I couldn't see the tea. It sounded like they just wanted salt. I have always wanted to make one of these videos. All right, so you've made macaroni and cheese and put it in cute little cups. And then what do you do? You, you stick cucumbers in it for no reason. It doesn't even make it more jack o lantern -y. What? That's awful. Shouldn't uh, what? China? China. More than 400 boxes of macaroni and cheese. And he's here tonight to share some of his... his Look, it's fat Jimmy Kimmel. From Oakland, California. Please welcome... He's not Ian that Gold. fat. No, but, you know, he's since slimmed down. Yeah. This is Ian Golder. He has the largest collection of boxes of Mac in the world. I've got a pretty good collection now myself, but it's not 400. <laughs> not that often? No, maybe uh, twice a month. Twice a month? I've cut down. You have? I never even saw it in a box until I was in college. Do you remember your first box of macaroni and cheese? I sure do. <laughs> this is turning me on. I appreciate the frankness. I got on this is where I leave the room. <laughs> the tone is really, you know, it's really level. <laughs> For many people, I wonder what his favorite Mac is. is. He's, I don't know if he's ever been asked. They're so focused on the obsessive collection. Yeah. That's not even that obsessive. Collecting these store brands because oh, I love I these old boxes. They're old. That they all have pretty much I remember that Prince one from my childhood. A bowl of macaroni with a spoon <laughs> uh -huh. Creamettes. <laughs> that brand doesn't even exist anymore. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like a snowflake collection. All right. They're all very close. Well, this is a group of... Uh, the audience seems to like it. Yeah. Right. They can't believe the outrageousness. No. <laughs> really could kind of go for some of that cream at smack right now. Uh, what's appealing about it? It just just looks tasty. It looks like the of the cream. 70s. Cream, yeah. Ew. <laughs> what's going on well, here? I really like these because they came from all <laughs> different parts of the country and mm -hmm. they're all different stores. Stock like footage Mac. Stock photo. Oh yes, they do, yeah. don't they? This Coles, is, uh, don't they sell clothes? This one, instead of Was it photo, spelled with an H? Uh -huh. This is carefully drawn. <laughs> oh wow, it sure yeah. is. Hand animated macaroni and cheese. Yeah, kind of like cut up intestines or something. It doesn't look natural at all. Yeah, there's something odd about it, a little bit fat. I wonder what it. the artist it's thought when he got that assignment. Longest noodles. Long noodles. They do kind of look like. You're getting onto spaghetti territory. <laughs> they look like uh, straw fries. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, didn't we get some of those Mac sent in? That none of them really. Well, like a, a Mexican one. Cheese in yeah. Spanish. <laughs> Macaroni con queso. Con queso. You've got macaroni, macarones, con queso, e queso. This one has. Queso and this one has queso. Oh my God! <laughs> Many variants. Ian, please open a museum, thanks. And they drop the and here. Oh, yeah. macaroni cheese. Yes, they don't really have one <laughs> cheese, so to I really love that generic box, the middle cheese, one. Yes. Cheesy macaroni. That's a, a craft dinner. <laughs> now the middle one is. Um, That's Canadian box. Oh, well, they don't. No frills there at all. Huh? I'd like that back. I like that buck. I like that buck. I like that buck. Uh huh. And uh, it's all in English, and then you put a little star with the uh, American flag in the middle. <laughs> wow. He's got quite a collection, this man. Yeah. See, Kimball wants to paint him as a freak. 
You but really, he's just kind of trolling. Making it's a pain because when you it screen, is. half spills down the oh, god. oh god, I've had that happen, Frank. No, you haven't. On the show, I've lost four noodles. <laughs> Never half. What? Hey, aren't you based on this thing? Oh my god. And handy mix. Oh god, turn it off. We don't want it to see its home. <laughs> what's going on? Pot. It's easy. Tell me what's going on. And lock the lid. So it's a pot with a cover. This is like when your dog sees another dog of the same breed <laughs> and has like a, an identity crisis. Yeah. Yes. Is that me? Please don't make light. The Mac Ew, Mac you don't mix the... Mechanism that blends food Do you remember how hot the ingredient hole was? It was so hot. And it didn't touch the bottom, and that was a major problem. That looks like good mac and cheese. I don't know what they made it in. It, it wasn't, wasn't made in this thing. That's for darn sure. I get especially hot when you touch my bottom. Look how much. This is clearly a prop. And then you can layer in some ground. Drop some cheese chunks in the hatch for Wait a minute. <laughs> I just like the sentence, drop the cheese chunks in the hatch. Just cheese chunks right in the hatch. I'm totally lost. It's okay, we're not gonna light you on fire. Beans and sauce for a hearty Texas chili. Don't freak. We're well beyond that. With Mac Magic, it's so easy. We can do everything. Couldn't you we want just use a pot, though? Perfect I think they should have gotten the other woman from the other device. Yes, and she could have thrown her gazungas around the kitchen. It would have. It would have increased the viewership. It's not twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, we didn't buy it for that. We get the Mac Veggie Pasta Maker free. Wait a minute. We don't have a Veggie Pasta Maker. What's a Veggie Pasta Maker? Pasta strands and great cheese in seconds. That's not pasta. Do you know what pasta is, TV show? You'll get it all. Mac Magic with Deluxe Mac. We actually got that recipe book. I feel like we didn't give it enough. We didn't give it enough try. That's worth $80? Go now. You're not worth $80. Thank God it's over. All right, this is a, um, a silent cooking segment. Oh. Should help calm me down. What is that? It's kind of bacon. What is this? Oh my god. Well, it's a very long video, so we sped it up. Oh. But please enjoy. They've got homemade bacon. Okay. Chopped. Okay. Fried. It kind of reminds me of the drug segments from Requiem for a Dream. It does, especially sped up. Ooh, yeah, with like the meth cooking. Fresh breadcrumbs. What? With the bacon? <laughs> John's short circuiting. Way ahead of you. What garlic? What? What are you doing with it? Oh God. Okay. Whoa. It's so fast and like. I like the efficient. sounds. Me too. Fresh parsley is always good. I don't know. So far. So far, there's nothing macaroni and cheese about it. Okay, you got some cheese. Got it. I'm gonna grate that cheese. Gouda. I just did it. Yep, gouda. What are they doing here? Making little, making fresh pasta? They're making their own pasta. They're doing it all like on some mountainside. Oh my gosh. These, this guy is like really serious about food. Why is everything gonna walk? Gotta run before you walk. Real milk as opposed to like fake milk? Yeah, it's raw milk. Real milk. Real all right. cheese. So he's basically just making mac and cheese. Yeah, it looks delicious. Let, let, let's not. It does look really good, but I don't, I'm not sure it would thin, thicken out that nicely without- Would you ever just make a cheese sauce and just eat it? Mm, I kind of got to have the pasta. A vehicle? Required. A vessel? I feel like this man is cooking in another world, a world that's not ours, that doesn't have like the things that we have in our I mean, kitchens. he definitely doesn't have to worry about things like a job or spouse. Yes. He can just cook. He can this cover way. his pot with hot embers in order to get a beautiful trop that looks like that. Mm. And he has a stoked fire that's ready to go. It does look real good though, doesn't I it? I hope it's evenly heated. You know, you ever like burn yourself oh, on yeah. oh, the yeah. less evenly heated piece? Oh, it looks good though. No! And now he's ruined it. It was, it was beautiful. Hey oh. everybody, I'm Melissa Moore, author of Holy A Brief History of Swearing. Oh, mother A study by Kraft Mac and Cheese revealed that 74% of moms say they've sworn in front of their kids. If you're uh, one of the 26 percent who say they've What's never a swear sworn anyway? Is yeah. hell a swear? Anyway, I'm here yeah, to um, hell you damn fart. Some of these Bart Simpson's <laughs> classic <laughs> selection of swears. <laughs> For example, when your kids are running around like caffeinated gorillas when you're trying to make a web video, you might say, what the frog? You're acting like flipping goof nuggets. You. Take that. If you say what the frog, outside, everyone will know what you mean. Yes. You might as well have swore. And get your Could say, right. sucker, mother. And or you can say, 
Get off your monkey flunking tablet and get your shit talky mushrooms ready for soccer practice. No parent is perfect. What do you think Kraft and better. this a mother I mean. initiative have to do Other with each other? I think it's just supposed to relate to the common mom. I see. Stuck a feather in his cap and oh. called it macaroni. What this is a classic song. Is this is unthreatening is what it is. A British song making fun of American doodles. That's a word for simpletons. And the then why do we sing it? One. Watch and find out. Macaroni. Macaroni was a catch-all term in England for the scenesters of the time. Zapota, between the, the beautiful. The fop and the dandy on the historical timeline of Trinity. I'm a fop, you're the dandy. Uh, definitely. And I'm a glorified pot. Together we're a macaroni. Or there's a macaroni between us. The amazing new pasta they discovered in Italy. It was, yeah, macaroni. America so if you're ever wondering which pasta is macaroni, this explains it. I do not actually know what pasta is macaroni. It's not, it's not a pasta. It was, it was that they named pasta from Italy after um, you know, a snotty, pretentious type. They were naming a feather, but that they thought a lame feather in their hat made them high society macaronis, which nobody should want. You can't make me leave. Now playing. A young Boxmac fan and her dumb boyfriend were victims of a terrifying phenomenon. Their story became the most documented case in macaroni and cheese history. Massacre at the Junt Place. Rated R. Now playing in IMAX. Hooters. All right, Craft Keeper. Do you have something you want to say to the people at home? Uh. Come on, man. I just want some backdrop. Calm down. I just want to be easy. Some jalapeno. No. Mac and cheese. Don't put jalapenos in macaroni and cheese. <laughs> When I sobered up, I gave it some thought. I was like, wow, that like, that wasn't even me. Like, that was like some other puppet skeleton. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be on my trunk. My Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Guys. Stay still. <laughs> what? We have something we need back. And Bot Mac, what are you doing? Making one of those top down cooking videos, why not? It's Twee, it's so Twee. Yeah, and like, stop sending me mac and cheese. Send it to Starving Africa guy. Happy Halloween, everybody. We love making Halloween specials. Love it. Holiday specials. This one, there's a lot of sets, lots of uh, arts and crafts. Yep. A lot of things that made it fun, made it special, made it different than a regular box mac. You paid for it. Yes. You paid for it with your Patreon dollars. That's right. Your Patreon made this possible. If you want to see more stuff like that, go over to patreon.com slash redcountertainment, I think it is. Yep. Um, and maybe give us a dollar. Yeah. Maybe a dollar a month. That money goes right back into the shows that we bring to you, so we really appreciate it. Thank you. Happy Thanks. Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.